What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building back with another video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Now let's get into this one really quickly guys. Uh, once again guys, we're talking about the current well the former uh, WBC heavyweight champion of the world Deontay the bronze bomber Wilder uh, He's coming off of that highly anticipated press conference with current WBC champion Tyson the Gypsy King Fury now the press conference guys we know it was it was controversial uh wilder's opening statement you know was highly controversial and the fact that he didn't have anything to say afterwards uh malik scott his new trainer uh, did most of the talking for him was controversial uh, wilder was wearing his headphones uh the whole time and uh the stare down uh it's both of those guys stared holes in each other at, uh, at the end of the press conference. It lasted quite a while. Uh, that was controversial as well. But anyway, guys, uh, a lot of people are saying, you know, we don't have anything to talk about when it comes to Wilder because Wilder didn't have anything to say. And, you know, I, I beg to differ a little bit. I think, you know, even though Wilder didn't talk to the mainstream press, uh, he did talk to some of the YouTube press that is a little bit more friendly towards him, uh, giving his insight into his mindset uh, leading up to this this trilogy matchup. Now, even, you know, everybody knows, everybody knows, including mainstream press, YouTube press, and the fans out here, we all know one thing, uh, Wilder, Deontay Wilder is very angry uh, leading up to this third fight. He's been angry for quite a while now. Uh, he thinks that Tyson Fury cheated him in the second match. Uh, he thinks his ex-trainer, uh, Mark Breland, was a disloyal trainer. He thinks that the media, the mainstream media, has not been giving him a fair shake. And uh, he's very angry about that. And you can tell his whole demeanor has changed. Uh, I mean, think about it. When's the last time you heard Deontay Wilder yell out, Bomb Squad? He, he hasn't even done that in a long time. So we know that he's he's angry. And the thing about anger, I think anger, anger can be a double-edged sword. Uh, leading up to the fight in preparation for the fight, I think anger has served Wilder well. Uh, he's been a lot more focused on his craft. Uh, he's been paying attention to detail. Uh, he's been eating, sleeping, and, and shitting boxing like uh, Mark like his uh, trainer Malik Scott's been saying, uh, it's, it served him well uh, leading up to this. Uh, but come fight night, guys, I think I think this is where anger uh, could be something that doesn't serve him well. I think going into the fight, uh, Wilder should not be angry going into the ring. I think he should be calm. I think he should be at peace when he goes into the ring. Because one thing about anger, uh, it can lead to you making mistakes. Uh, it can lead to you being overzealous. Uh, it could lead to you making poor decisions in the ring. So I think he needs to be at peace, at calm when he steps through those ropes come fight night. Because make no mistake, uh, Tyson Fury, this is a guy that has one win over him and a draw. So he hasn't defeated Tyson Fury. So he has to be on his A plus game going into this fight. Uh, Tyson Fury is a dangerous fighter. Uh, regardless of what you think about him. Uh, the man knows how to box. He moves around the ring like a welterweight when he wants to. Uh, ever since he got with Sugar Hill Stewart, he's been sitting down a lot better on his punches. Uh, Sugar Hill Stewart said he now has one punch knockout power. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but the way he was hitting Wilder in the second fight, uh, you could tell that those, th those punches had something on him. Uh, I had seen Tyson Fury like that before Sugar Hill Stewart and now they've I think they said they've been through like five different training camps and Tyson Fury's talking about coming in at 300 pounds and what's more dangerous than a 300 pound man who's sitting down on a shot so you, you can't take him lightly so I don't think anger is the best option for Deontay Wilder come fight night right now I think it's serving him well because it's, it's keeping him focused but come fight night he, he has to leave the anger outside of the ring and, and, and focus on the task at hand. Uh, and he may be successful in regaining his WBC uh, heavyweight title. 
but we're just gonna have to wait and see come fight night guys uh highly anticipated fight i heard the tickets were off the charts uh the, the prices were crazy uh this was to be expected i know a lot of people said they didn't want to see this fight but uh uh, you can see that's not true. A lot of people want to see this fight. Uh, it's, it's a lot of bad blood going into the ring. So uh, hopefully these guys can, you know, handle it like men in the ring uh, and maybe shake hands afterwards. Uh, I, I know I'm, I'm, you know, that's wishful thinking on my part, but, you know, maybe they will. We're just going to have to wait and see. But you guys tell me what you think. Uh, do you think Wilder will be angry when he goes into the ring? Uh, come fight night do you think he should not be angry when he goes into the ring he should be at calm and at peace i heard him his, himself say something about having a, a meditation room at his house or something like that i think that's a good idea if he does so let me know about what you guys think about it in the comment section it's the cmb i'll talk to you guys in the next one and i'm out peace